Welcome to The Trenton Show. I'm Trenton Davis. And I'm Trenton Davis as well. Last week on the show, we talked about how cocky Alabama fans are and how unrealistically normal Auburn fans are. Well, one week later, Alabama has lost the second year in a row to Ole Miss, and Auburn got thumped by LSU. Leonard Fournette for Heisman. What's the big deal about Leonard Fournette? Did you see him pile drive Auburn's defense? What's defense? Is that the thing that keeps the fans off of the field? What? Defense. No idiot. Defense. It's the team that doesn't have the ball. Why don't they have the ball? Did Tom Brady take it for his collection? No, Trenton. It's a part of the game. The whole point is to take the ball and run the other way. Oh, well, either way, I don't get it. That doesn't surprise me. Oh yeah, I heard a joke the other day and I think it was funny. What was the joke? Why did the football player think the defensive line was foreign? Why? Because he said he was Russian. <laughs> That was the stupidest joke I have ever heard. It was? Yes, it's like you took the most basic part of football and told a joke about it. That doesn't make people think you know anything about football. Yes, it does. I know a lot about football. Trenton, if you don't know what defense is, you don't know much. Ask me anything. All right. What is a Heisman? Easy. It's when a player tries to get the other player to look him in the eyes. He says, eyes, man. What? No, a Heisman is the award that's given out every year to the best player in college football. Oh, well give me another one. All right. If you don't get this one, you don't know anything about football. Try me. What is a field goal? That's easy. A field goal is the condition the people mowing the grass want the field to look like. It's their field goal. Are you kidding me? What? You didn't even get that one right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. You don't understand anything. You're an idiot. You know what else I don't understand? What's that? How does something get famous? What do you mean? I mean, the stupidest things get famous today. Whether it be a video of a kid going to the dentist going viral, or a game where all you do is literally touch the screen to make a bird not hit the pipes, anything can get famous. That is true. Anything at all can get famous. In fact, there are many celebrities that many people know of just because something they did went viral. Maybe we should take advice from those people so we can go viral. I don't think that's exactly a good idea. We see where Justin Bieber is. Well, he seemed to figure out how to be well known by people. Yeah, maybe a little too well known. And I don't think there's a formula to going viral. Well, Hillary does. As if she isn't viral enough, she teamed up with America's two favorite people and took a selfie with them. And who might that be? Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, of course. Why did she do that? She said on The Tonight Show that Kim and Kanye came to one of her events and asked her to take a selfie with them. Hillary also said Kim was a selfie pro. Oh really? Yes, but I think she was just fangirling over Kanye and wanted a picture with him. I would too if everybody hated me. Wait, are we talking about Hillary or Kanye? Yes. While on The Tonight Show, Hillary managed to impersonate one of her opponents in the presidential election. Who do you think that was? Mr. Huge? <laughs> yep, Jimmy Fallon told her Donald Trump said she uses a teleprompter too much, so she trumped Trump with a spot-on impression. You know, I have used them from time to time. I learned that from uh, watching how successful President Obama was, because he knows what he wants to say, and he really is intent upon delivering it. But I could go more stream of consciousness. You know, this is a huge election. You never know what might happen. Let's, you know, let's get rid of the people that don't agree with us and only talk to the people who do. Yeah, you, I guess you could do that without a teleprompter. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right, yeah. The Pope came to America this week. That's right, Pope Francis landed at Andrews Air Force Base outside Washington to speak to President Obama, Congress, and the United Nations. And of course, anyone that important must travel with a million security guards. Well, wouldn't you want as many security guards you can get if you were the Pope? He seems like such a nice guy. Who would ever want to hurt him? I don't know of anyone. And America is such a safe place for him to be in. Well, he did just get back from Cuba. That must be why we wanted to remind him he isn't in Cuba anymore. What do you mean? As President Obama and his family greeted the Pope, a high school band played a tune to remind him how America we are. The Star Spangled Banner? Nope. Happy by Pharrell Williams. <laughs> Welcome to America! In other news, most of America's youth was overjoyed with a surprise from one of their favorite television creators. What happened? Dan Schneider, the man responsible for Drake and Josh, iCarly, Victorious, and many more popular Nickelodeon shows, tweeted to his thousands of followers a tease to what later was revealed to be more to the show Zoe 101. 
Oh, I heard about that. Ten years ago, Zoe buried a time capsule which revealed how she felt about all of her friends. Chase, being helplessly in love with her, begged to find out what was in it. Zoe then made a promise that he would find out, but he had to wait 10 years. Unfortunately, the show ended early due to its star, Jamie Lynn Spears, pregnancy. But have no fear, Schneider released a teaser to what should be released in the near future. The link to that is in the description. Wow, we did it. Did what? We managed to end the episode without complaining about something. Oh yeah, we did. Good job. That's all we have for now. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel. We have a brand new show every Friday. The link is in the description. And go ahead and leave a comment about your opinions on what we talked about today. Are you hoping for an Auburn win? Are you for some reason optimistic for an Alabama win? Did you like Hillary's impression of the Donald? Are you excited for more Zoe 101? Let us know. Until next time, I'm Trenton Davis. And I'm Trenton Davis. If you start with three and you take away four, you won't have anything, but you will be poor.